I don't know if I've ever made popovers or Yorkshire pudding as an adult in my own home. I know it can be hard to get like the perfect like whew, popover. I've decided to test two recipes and adapt them just like a little bit because they make like a lot of Yorkshire puddings, which is fine, but I mean, there's only two of us. Maybe there's only two of you. I don't eat like a dozen of them. Maybe you do. Anyway, so I'm gonna test one by Ina and then another by Serious Eats. So two different methods. Let's get into it. For the Serious Eats popover, you need flour. I'm doing it in a container that you can put a lid on to stick it in the fridge. Salt, two eggs, some milk. I'm gonna live dangerously and weigh it out <laughs> into the container. There's no taking it back, but I'm feeling myself today. <laughs> aside from the giant mess that I made. And water. I like black pepper. So I'm gonna stick some black pepper in both recipes, maybe amp up the flavor a little bit. Then we'll whisk it all together. Fortunately, the flour got stuck a little bit around the outside, but it did eventually come together. And then we can cover this guy and stick it in the fridge until tomorrow when we bake them. While the oven is preheating to 425, I'm going to pull my batter out of the fridge and just let it sit at room temperature. I'm going to need a muffin tin. I have like a regular-ish size one. I got this from Ikea. And then when my oven is heated to 425, I'm going to take about a teaspoon of bacon fat and put it in four of the little cups. I have about two cups of batter, so it should be like a quarter cup each. Use an oil that has a higher smoking point. You're going to be pretty safe with like any vegetable oil, um, bacon fat. I don't suggest using butter. I think you, it'll like brown and burn before anything happens. I suggest using the cups on the very outside of the sheet. It'll allow for like maximum heat. Then I'm going to place the muffin tin and bacon grease in the oven and heat it for five minutes. Set a timer. It'll be your friend. After that five minutes has passed, I'm going to take it out of the oven equally as I can. Divide it between the four fat filled cups. Fill the little cups halfway to three quarters of the way full and then stick it back in the oven right away. Bake until they're golden brown. I did it for about 15 minutes. I think I could have gone at least another four minutes longer. The critical part is you do not open the oven door at all. Not a good idea for the first 15 minutes. You want these guys to like pop up and set. It's fun to watch them uh, while they're doing it. At first you think nothing is happening and then all of a sudden they're just like little volcanoes. It's very cool. You can remove them from the oven. I noticed that there was still some like bacon grease in the very middles of them and the nature of the beast is this is sort of like a very puffy airy thing. So I took them out of the muffin tin and put them on a rack upside down so that the bottoms are facing up in hopes to preserve some of that like height and to let the fat trip out. And then I'm gonna let them cool. For Ina's recipe, while the oven is preheating to a 425, we're going to combine milk, an egg, salt, black pepper, olive oil. She calls for melted butter. I didn't want to melt a teaspoon and a half of butter, so I decided to switch it up with olive oil. Flour, whisk it all together until it's like cohesive. There's no lumps. It looks good. For the sake of consistency, I'm going to use the same pan, same bacon grease, teaspoon in four of the cups on the outside, in the oven, five minutes to get it hot, take it out of the oven, and pour my batter into the grease-filled cups. I went back and refilled one of them. That's going to be a problem <laughs> in the future, so we can all learn something, and then stick them back in the oven. I baked these guys for 17 minutes. After 15 minutes, they were starting to get brown. When I peaked, it wasn't like quite there, so I did two minute intervals until I thought they were like, good. Your time is going to vary again. Don't peek. Don't open that oven door for at least 15 minutes until you see that they've become like volcanoes. I took them out of the oven. I did the same thing where I put them on a cool rack upside down to see if any of the grease can drip off and hopefully to pre preserve that height. So I think now it's time to do a little taste test. This is the one that uh, I poured that little bit of extra batter into and it didn't create the traditional hole. It sort of stayed like full. These are the Serious Eats ones and these are 
the Ina ones. The Ina one, it feels nice and airy. Oh yeah, that'd be good with gravy. The Serious Eats one. Yeah, I totally could have let these guys cook for a few more minutes. You can't go wrong if you're like, shit, <laughs> I need Yorkshire puddings right now. <laughs> I mean, these are perfectly fine. <laughs> I think they turned out really well for just like a get it done in a matter of minutes. And if you think about it beforehand, I think people would be pretty blown away by these guys. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.